Good evening, Prime Minister. Uh, with the recent tragic events in Brussels, do you believe that economic growth could be a solution to counter radicalization in Europe? We can't just uh, speak about economic growth if you want to fight about uh, radicalization. I think uh, because economic growth uh, is good if everybody is able to take profit of it. Yeah. Uh, very often, um, the one in the countries who are uh, already not uh, the most involved in the growth are not taking profit of new growth. So it's important to uh, to have a growth which is uh, also balanced and. Uh, uh, to take care of consequences of growth. Uh, I spoke uh, tonight also about the uh, eco ecological uh, points yeah. about growth. If we uh, see that some uh, colleagues, prime ministers, uh, when we speak about future of our countries, they, they are asking how long they will exist. Mm -hmm. um, we need to prevent and we should not forget, uh, as you said, the uh, attacks in Brussels or in Paris or in everywhere in the world, yeah. but especially now in Europe, something new for us uh, in uh, in, in this proportion, especially for Belgians, that um, we had 5,000 young people who left our continent really? to go to Syria and yeah. to fight for the Islamic State. So we need to uh, to prevent and uh, to ask ourselves also why students yesterday with uh, young people without histories became terrorists. Exactly. Um, with the recent revelations in the Panama Papers and in the Luck, Luck Leaks, uh, Lux Leaks, Lux Leaks uh, do you believe that tax havens pl will play a beneficial role in the future? I think you speak about tax haven and I don't know why you do a link with Luxembourg with that because uh, we are not a tax haven. The only thing is we are competitive uh, on a lot of points. What is important is that we have a level playing field. We should have rules, rules for all the countries, for small countries, for big countries, but should be rules for all of us. Um, if, pe if people or companies tries to, to find uh, uh, tricks not to pay tax is not acceptable. It's not acceptable, and uh, we should have level playing fields, uh, rules for for all of us, and that's uh, important. Uh, but uh, I uh, I think that uh, you spoke about uh, leaks from one or the others, but we discovered that it was a Euro leaks that uh, over 20 countries did uh, what we call. Uh, um, tax agreement between administration and companies and uh, so it is important to have rules for all of us. Uh, a follow-up question to that, you said a level playing field. In Luxembourg you have low tax rates and you believe that Luxembourg being one of the richest nations in the world can still benefit from these low tax rates or is that there's going to be more competition in a tax area? going forward. I have some colleagues who tell me that we need to have the same taxes everywhere. I do not agree with that because uh, I have for example specially taxes for uh, this is a, a strange thing but for example if you buy shoes how how big are your foot? 42. Okay 42 you will pay the taxes full tax 70 percent but if you have children yeah. you will pay three percent so that means that taxation is also social issues. Uh, we have for, for, for what we call uh, um, products that you really need and you need to buy uh, special rates of 3% and I don't know why I should raise them to 17%. You will need, if you have smaller feet maybe it will be cheaper for you to buy shoes in Luxembourg but it's just the fact that it's uh, important to have uh, um, agreements and I, I think what is important is to speak about what we call the assiette fiscale so that means what is counted in, uh, in fiscality but it's not because some countries uh, did um, uh, public expenses uh, on a too high way and were not uh, uh, enough safe with public money that other countries now have to suffer because of that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.